All right. Well, I think we are ready to go. I am Dan the VP, and we're going to get back into the menu here. And we're going to jump into the Blue Marlin. Um, if you have never seen this game, then you have that in common with just about everybody else who's probably watching this game. It's a, an NES game, of course, and this is a, a favorite of mine from my childhood. So um, the, the speed run for this could be five minutes. It could be 35 minutes. Um, and we'll see why that is the case when we get into things. So we're just going to jump in and start a new game. Name our fisherman. Well, yeah, there we go. And, all right, time is going to start whenever we start here. Um, three, two, one, go. All right, and uh, so the object of this game is to catch some fish. And or in order to do that, we're going to need to change a couple settings. There's uh, all kinds of stuff you can do with your your line and your lure and your weight. And um, the funny thing is there's a glitch in this game that I only know about because of uh, game facts. Whenever I first started running, running this game a few years ago, there's like no documentation. Just, you know, one of those NES games that's not really actually a good speed run. Um, but there is a glitch in this game where all of the weather conditions and information about a level resets. So none of the factors that you could, you know, maybe use a different lure because it's cloudy. It's never cloudy. The weather's always the same. It's always the morning. And uh, so, yeah, that's fun fact number one I got from some old game facts uh, FAQs that I'm pretty sure had a Marlin ASCII art at the top. But with that being said, we play as this little boat, and we're dragging our lure, and we're looking for some fish so we can catch some marlin. Uh, there's four different, uh, let's just call them tournaments. The game doesn't call them tournaments, but we're just going to call them tournaments because that makes sense. And um, four different tournaments in four different locations, and we're just trying to catch the biggest fish. But that fish has to be a marlin. Um, hmm, sailfish also count. But those marlin are going to spawn most likely between behind these schools of fish. So we're just going to drag our boat around and just hope the game spawns us a marlin. Now on each map, there's going to be three of these schools of fish at any point in time. There's this variety where there's like not one in the middle and they bounce back and forth off the walls. And then there's the X-shaped fish that do not bounce off walls. They're just going to kind of... Um, dissipate if they get to a wall and the game if you will see will start to lag really bad if there's more than one or two set of fish so I try to uh, scare one away if we've got too many on the screen and this is like world record for the longest amount of time not seeing a marlin on the first stage so we've got that going for us and this whale shark as well just, all right, there's, no, I thought we were getting to Marlin. Um, all right, let's get rid of you, maybe. Well, maybe we'll just get a Marlin here. Come on. Here, fishy, fishy. Now, this is, this is exactly how we want to start out, because uh, we should already be out of Florida by now. I don't know if the game designers just, like, didn't know there was more places than um, Florida and uh, Hawaii because the first location, we're in Miami, you know, nice coast, beach, ocean, and then every other location in the game is just in Hawaii. So there's that. And we're just going to go, let's just move to the other side of this stage. Um, so there's three different um stages i guess in each of the tournament ah we got a marlin let's go all right now we're gonna get into the second phase of this game and we're gonna spin the chair back and forth so i'm holding back here so the fish can't take line and going left and right and that is the fastest way to tire the fish out you're gonna see the little bubbles above its portrait in the bottom right hand corner we're going to hope this random event doesn't harm us. And there we go. We got a fish. Hopefully it's at least 300 pounds. Nope. 
That is not going to win day one. 300 pounds probably won't win day one either. So we're going to have to keep fishing for another marlin. And there is a little bit of strategy involved here in that we need to catch like three fish. Oh, there's another one. We need to catch three fish before day three. So some of these fish that aren't going to be big enough at the beginning of a run, they don't hurt you because um, there is like mini RPG elements in this game as well where we're going to level up our body power and our muscle. And so some of these fish, it's, uh, it's worth catching regardless. Another 200 pounder. Kind of going through that menu quick, but I'm trying to release these fish because we're going to have to weigh everything we catch before the end of the day. Um, so this will start making catching fish a little easier. And it's hard to keep track of sometimes because ideally you just catch three fish and then by the time you're on day three you have all the upgrades you need. But now since I'm having to catch multiple fish in day one, fish are going to start getting easier to catch. And the way we kind of judge, or at least the way I kind of judge whether I want to try to catch a marlin that I've got or not is how easy it is to catch. So depending on how strong we are, easier fish are to catch. And it's harder to tell, for me at least, if it's the big fish or not. Because you will start hearing um, there's a beeping that happens when the line is about to break. Come on. All right. Um, and we probably won't get any of that. And it'll take longer. Oh, this fish might be a little stronger here. We haven't leveled up. This should be our level up fish. I'm also rocking back a little bit. Oh, this, yeah, this might be at least 300 pounds. It'd be nice to see 400. It's kind of RNG what uh, exactly... An another 200 pound fish. All right, well, we don't want this either. We are leveled up now, though. But it's, it's RNG what our opponent is going to catch, what uh, weight fish. So just kind of, you know, a 400 pound fish is basically always a win, um, but you can still lose with a 400 pound, pound fish on day one. All right. This is what we need to be seeing. <laughs> and you can also see like the hook set, familiar with kind of more fishing terminology, there's the hook can be all the way in the fish's mouth. It can be like it is now. You can tell on that bottom portrait. and Or it can be like bouncing in and out. All right, let's see. 500, all right, let's go. Let's get out of here, back to port. And of course, there's a bunch of fish on the screen lagging it out, but uh, all right. And there is a forward and a reverse on the boat. I'll go backwards sometimes. Let's weigh this fish. 497. Got a bad roll on the 500 pound fish. That is our portrait though. Look at that person. That is me. We won day one and now we're on to day two. We're going to go into the first spot. Uh, do the same. Well. Put on a stronger line and shorten the line. So that's all we're doing in the menu at the first, um, when we first enter a stage. What's that do? What we're doing there is we're putting on stronger line just so we can kind of like brute force the fish a little bit more. Um, and we are changing the length to the shortest length. So we've got less, we have to reel in fish. I mean, like I said, since the weather resets, which it's not supposed to, but since the weather resets every time we enter a level, luckily the the depth of the line and the lure, the default lure is what you would want for the weather that the game resets it to. Also, what's up? I have one big eye. I see you in chat. Right, let's find some of these fish. All right. Marlin can also follow seagulls, but the seagulls have like a, an erratic pattern and they can go over land. Um, and they can also follow the whale shark, but it's a little bit... I don't like the whale sharks. 
their movement is less predictable. I like the, the good old DVD logo. Alright, we're gonna follow these, just going back and forth straight. It's a little bit easier to kind of get behind these fish that are going straight up and down or left and right. And now, we don't necessarily have to be behind the fish for a marlin to spawn. I think it increases the odds. Oh, there we go. But it is possible we'll just, like, see some fish swimming by that already have a marlin attached. I don't know if my, uh... I'm playing on a, a snack box so I can mash left and right. Because uh, playing this on an NES controller and going back and forth is, uh... Not fun. There's a few of those different random events that I'm just spamming through as well. It's just, it's RNG. It's kind of a 50-50 whether which result is going to be the good result. So, All right, I think we can get away with a 500 pounder, 600 pound sailfish. All right, bless RNG. Let's see what happens. And so, I, I think I mentioned it at the start of the run, but when we have a fish on, I'm holding backwards, and that keeps the fish from taking any line out. But you can't really, um, well, it's hard to reel in the marlin quickly until they're tired out. So, spamming left and right and rocking the chair left and right is the quickest way. Yo, we won day two, let's go. Yes, if you don't win uh, the first stage, like if you're, you know, speed running and trying to get a PB, you're probably resetting. Um, but you can just go in and um, you can go back to that stage and replay that stage. Um, and you do get big long passwords. So if you have to reset the game, um, you can always go back to... whatever stage you want. Ooh, that was a quick one. Let's go. So that fish portrait in the bottom right shows both the hook set and the fatigue. And then the, the vitality, which is our green bar, is going to be kind of related to how strong we are, how long we've fought the fish. And so that does come into play um, depending on what you're catching. There are bigger fish you can catch that aren't marlin. And there's also some, like, pretty big marlin you can catch. We do not want this fish. 400 will not get us out of here. Ideally, we want a 700-pound fish. Um, if we catch a 500, we'll just go and turn it in just to see. Just to, you know, see if we get a good roll on what our fish weighs out at and what the opponent's fish weighs out at. Uh, the different stages are all... Uh, shaped differently so we go into just like the first stage or at least I go into the first stage for the first three um, they're all I don't want to catch up oh, well I don't want one of those fish let me just cut the line um, so the the initial stage on the first three world uh, first three tournaments are pretty much just like rectangles or squares, so they're easy to navigate. There are some kind of cooler maps that have like islands in the middle or stuff to go through, but uh, the cross-shaped fish schools uh, just kind of don't... It's hard to follow them because they're always destroying themselves. And then the, the DVD logo fish schools, it's hard to get behind them when they're not in like a... A box and they're just all bouncing around and then usually the fish won't bite if you're not moving but if one of the schools of fish does go over your lure you could hook a fish on there which there are some really neat fish you can catch and especially if you're into deep sea fishing and stuff um, it's fun to just like go around and see all the different types of fish in the game and now we, I've, I've already leveled up past what we need to beat the game. And so I have no idea how big these fish are because I can't tell how how hard it is to catch them because other than in a marathon run, yeah, um, I really wouldn't be fishing this area at this strength, I should say. But uh, 300 is not going to cut it. We're just going to keep piddling along. 
the boat does have a pretty impressive range of like turning and stuff for an early NES game. It's like 16 different directions. Oh, got one right there before they were gonna dissipate. I'm gonna start reeling in with one. I can reel and wobble at the same time. Yeah, alright. We're getting none of the good RNG, by the way. We haven't had the line break yet, but there's a. You can get like the fish automatically exhausted. Alright, 600. Said we're going in at 6. We could get a high roll 6, and our opponent could get a low roll. I'm gonna follow these fish just in case. Oh! Oh! This might pay off. Oh, it feels like a big one. I'm also, if you're familiar with the drag on a, a fishing reel, there's also a button to control the drag, which I'm turning the drag all the way up at the beginning of every fish battle just so they can't take line out um, as quickly. We got another 600 pounder and we got two chances for a high roll. Let's go back to port. Weigh both of our fish. Yeah, fish bat. I can't think of what to like. The Being such an early NES game, it's hard to like, you just kind of have to make up the name for what things are, so... Nope, we lost. That's old, uh... I don't know. I never named this guy in my head. Yeah, see, he high-rolled his six and we low-rolled our sixes. Oh, well. I'm gonna go back... Back here. We gotta reset all our... Stuff. Alright. Let's try this again. That was really unlucky. He didn't have a high, like, usually the opponent can go in with, like, over, can come out with, like, over a 700 pound fish. Um, so he did low roll, but we low roll our 600 pounders as well. Alright, DVD logo fish. Well, I didn't do that on purpose. This is it. Right before the edge. Oh, no. This is not the direction I want you to be swimming in either. These later stages are a bit less ideal. You always know you're close to fish as well when the game starts lagging like it is right now. But it's like... It's frustrating when the fish are always just, like, right off screen. Oh, there we go. And you know they're right off screen because the game is lagging, but then the game is lagging, so you can't catch up to the fish that are right off screen. Five hundred? I don't want a five hundred pound fish. Our, our strength is way up there, though. Hot B also made a, uh, a bass fishing game for the NES called Black Bass, which I guess they just, like... What is a... What's a fish with a color? That's that's what we're making our games after. But um, it's also... It's a, it's a fun fishing game as well. Um, I like fishing in real life, so that makes fishing games also fun for me um the, the sound in that game it's have a have something you like to listen to other than the game is the the sound of reeling in the line in black bass is uh, something special ah well we got bad rng finally and the line snapped that felt like a Puny Marlin, though. All right, we're going to have to pick things up. We're at 18 minutes. Stage three. We do have all the upgrades we need, so all we have to do is catch fish now. Come on. Come on. Thank 
you. I don't know how the fisherman swivels like that with his legs in the air. Oh, come on. But kudos to kudos to them. Bass and black bass. Three. I don't. Who's out here catching all these small fish? Come on. You can catch like a 900 pound fish in this stage. Just not today. Not when I need to. Not with people watching. Look at those little cows. I bet that's uh... Can we just take a cow? Can we turn in a cow? That's gotta be at least 500 pounds, right? What does an average cow weigh? Do we have that knowledge in chat? Oh, okay. No! Oh! Alright, I'm done with this set of fish. That can happen. The I don't know if that's a glitch when the marlin shows up and then disappears, but um, it's not fun. Come on. Be a big one. Let's go. Six? All right, well. All right, we're going to try with six again. Maybe our opponent is having as bad a luck as we are. Um, I lost where I am on the map, too. There we go. It doesn't take very much time overall to go in and see if we won, so... Uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. No. What'd you get this time? He didn't break 700, though. Alright, we're not going in until we get 700 this time. I'm trying to make it work, and it's not, so... Alright. Back to the grind. Stage two went by too quickly. We got too, too lucky in stage two. Oh, we got a marlin off the seagulls. Let's go. Is this it? the bird fish the one we need I don't know it feels kind of feels kind of weak nope that was a black marlin though that's one of the rarer fish at least I think it was Getting them off the seagulls again. Oh! Maybe this is the one. Also feels kind of weak, but it's pulling. <laughs> the bird fish have betrayed me. I always feel like they're big fish when they come off the seagulls, but... Not today. Alright. You can follow the DVD logo here. Alright. Let's go. Alright. This is better. When they start... That could be a good sign. And they're already threatened to break the line. So, <laughs> almost. We're not going in with 600 again. Can't do it. We 
can't go in with 600. Come on. Get it before they crash. Come on. Okay. Oh, this one's taking a while to wear out. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, come on. Come on. No! <sighs> that was it. I felt it. And maybe my true calling is to be a bodybuilder and not a, uh... Not a tournament fisher. What are the what are the NES bodybuilding games? Oh. I saw another set of fish with the alright, we're gonna go after this DVD logo. Oh The game slows down so much. Oh uh, no, this one feels kind of small. But I do have that AA body now, so who knows. Five hundred's better than three hundred. I should have saved a password for the last stage so we could at least hear the one different music. So that's the each there's three different variations and since we go into the same like the middle stage for the first three tournaments we hear the same music every time so gotta get to the last stage to be rewarded with new music all right another one feels small All these little baby marlin. I mean, 400 pounds is a huge fish, but uh, not quite big enough. Now is when I start saying to myself, there's like, there's something in the RNG. Something is set. You would think it would matter like where, like how deep the water was which I'm assuming, like, the, the shallow water is, like, the, the whiter colored water, but... We're just gonna follow this whale shark for a little bit. We haven't, we haven't caught a whale shark yet. I mean, a whale shark marlin. Follow it until we see fish, at least. It's like following behind a school bus, though. Alright. We found fish. I always felt bad doing that when I was a kid because I felt like I was killing the whale shark. Surely it's... surely it's fine. Alright, can we get another marlin off the DVD logo? Come on... Yep, the fish is dead now. Yeah, well, fish is dead in a video game. Now I think these fish are cursed. Where'd those seagulls go? Y'all got a marlin? Nope, they're just gonna leave. Fish. All right, now we're getting desperate. We're begging the seagulls to give us a fish. I'm sure this is how uh, the real world works, by the way, that... Uh... Oh, there we go. Oh, come on. If you... If, if these birds fly over land before... Okay. All right, I, I could not immediately reel this one in. That's a good sign. Or I might just be like really, 
Really wanting the fish to, to be big. 800 pounds. Let's go. The birds came through. We're at least going to get to hear the new music. A nose splitting the ground. All right. We're going on to the final stage. New music. All right, we got to make the same adjustments to our tackle. All right, we're looking for a 900 pound fish. Yes, they get bigger. I don't know how we're on, how we are on time, by the way, and we can cut whenever. Oh, this is it. This could be it. <laughs> Any fish now could be the fish. I don't think it's this one. Oh, if this... Hey! I chose the other one, and magically, it worked. Seven... All right, 700 could technically, I think I've seen as low as, I, I think I've seen the opponent have as low as, um, if I hit the right button, um, I came in here backwards, that's right. <laughs> I think I've seen as low as 726, so like we could technically win. Oh, that's a high roll for a 700. Yo, let's go! Time's coming up. Time. Well, a little bit overestimate, but uh, we still got to beat the game. <laughs> um, so that was a lot of fun. If you want to play this game, you should. Um, the speed run for it is just exactly what you saw, and it's basically just resetting a lot. Um, but I really enjoy this game. I'm glad for it to be included in uh, Nest Day. And uh, y'all stick around for more 8-bit games with soundtracks that can kind of be questionable and, you know, fun speed runs. <laughs>